right, tonight for dinner, we are gonna work together and we are going to make carbonara. Wait, my mic's on. <laughs> All right, tonight for dinner. What's happening here? Tonight okay, for tonight. <laughs> you do it, you do the intro. <laughs> okay, tonight for dinner, we are doing a chicken carbonara recipe without the chicken because we hear it on one of our favorite shows all the time. So we're gonna try carbonara with bacon, not chicken, not pancetta. And we're using bacon because we pretty much always have bacon on hand. If you guys have been here for a while, you know that we meal prep bacon throughout the week. So majority of the time, I actually already have it prepped and ready to go. First thing we need is a, a cup or a pound of spaghetti noodles. Sure, there's a better way to do that. <laughs> um, Hold on, you're measuring in ounces right now. All right, so you're pretty close. 0. 0.7. All right, a pound of noodles. So we this would probably be easier if you just buy them and don't transfer them to a container like we do. Also, this is angel hair. We're not using regular spaghetti. Right? Yeah, that's that was what I was trying to find. Oh. <laughs> I just want to show you the situation we have right now. We are attempting to measure out pasta. And so we have the scale and a plate on the scale. And then we, we do have a pound. You can't see it. If I move the plate, then it's all gonna be a disaster. All right, we've got some Parmesan cheese. The recipe that we are using actually calls for Parmesan and then what's the other one? Something. Pecorino. Anyway, we're just using Parmesan. This one's really easy to find. So we're gonna go with that. And we need about a cup. Rolling. Mm-hmm. And it said finely chopped, so we used the finer cheese chopper thing. Grater. Grater, thank you. While he finishes up the cheese, I'm going to saute these baby bell mushrooms. You do not have to put mushrooms in this recipe. The recipe that we're using doesn't even call for it, but we have them and we love mushrooms. Do you want to use all of them? Both of them? Mm -hmm. uh, no, maybe about half of them. Okay. You put the cheese in a bowl. Cheese in, eggs in, two large eggs, and parsley will join it after we chop those up. And then we'll whisk that all together. Two tablespoons. <clears throat> so you're adding eight ounces of heavy cream to that. Three garlic cloves, peeled, thinly, thinly sliced. And obviously, if you are short for time, you could just use your pre-prepped minced garlic. Thinly sliced slash chopped. This is the pasta sauce we're whisking. We will add some of the pasta water to this once that's ready. Okay, so pulling a cup of the pasta water to come in the sauce. Slowly drizzle in some of the reserved water. So let's just do a little more. Whisk in and let that sit. Here's, here's one thing I wanna hear from your watchers, viewers subscribers, I wanna hear how they drain, which direction, because I have before turned it towards myself. That seems like a terrible idea. It's, it is a terrible idea, but now I, I do it the opposite way, which is what I think most people do. All right, we've got a tablespoon of bacon fat reserved or pancetta fat or oil, whatever it is that you're gonna use. And you are going to... Put the garlic in. Okay, so you're sauteing the garlic. So this won't take long. Before this step, if you are an onion eater, which I am not, you should saute uh, the onions. Then you add the garlic in. All right, so we're sauteing garlic. We're on about medium heat right now. Surprise guest. Another surprise guest. In case you're worried, those are mushrooms. <laughs> 
All right, while that garlic is cooking, I already went ahead and crumbled up the bacon. So we've got roughly a pound of bacon here and it's cooked and just crumbled up. All right, we are doing a quick redo on the noodles because I made a rookie mistake of learned a couple of lessons. One, you must bring the water to a boil before putting the noodles in. And two, do you remember, was there a second lesson or was that it? <laughs> I think that was the only lesson. But also, I'm very sorry to everyone who says you should not break the pasta, but it's the only way that it fits in this pot. All right, now we're putting in a quarter cup of white wine. Cook the liquid off before we put everything else in this pan. So the wine should reduce to about nothing. All right, so our liquid is cooked down significantly. I know you see a lot of bubbles, but really there's not a whole lot of liquid left in there. So at this point, we're removing from the heat. Bacon, bacon in. Bacon, bacon. There's the bacon and now Mushroom. the mushrooms. Do you want pasta in first or are you gonna put the sauce first? Let's go uh, some of each. Let's alternate. Okay. First dose of pasta. Let's do another dose. Some sauce. Yeah, that's... Adding pepper, adding salt to taste. There you have it, chicken carbonara. <laughs> Minus chicken. <laughs> our verse this week comes from 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more just like this, check out this video right here and you're gonna get even more inspiration for quick dinners. I hope you're having a great week, bye. You're gonna have to squat or I'll just be taller. All right, tonight for dinner. Check, check. What's happening here? You never turned this thing on. Yes, I did. Uh -uh. Yes, I did. It's not on. Are you kidding? Oh, wait. Oh, you got the wrong burner on for the noodles. No way. Yeah. I had the back. <laughs>